Right. In today's lesson, my aim is to finish uh, our workbook and then move to the uh, revision part because we have finished the syllabus. Right. What we were discussing last day is about sharing a folder. And today I'll show how to share a printer. And then, so let's see some more about uh, sharing printer. And after that, we can see uh, like uh, how the command line communication can be done. But for this, actually, you need a uh, pro version of uh, Windows 10, right? So we can try this. Otherwise, the other versions like form version and other versions, this won't work. Let's try. And after that, we can move to the, yes, that is the end of this chapter. And we can just see how these messages and all will be printed using this command and then the ICT and society subject, we can move to that. So first of all, I would like if one of you can share the screen because I can show you the practical part, how to, uh, like how can we share a printer? First of all, let's do that. Right, all of you can follow me, follow actually uh, Tihan's screen. Yes, yes. Yes. But I haven't a printer. Sir. Doesn't matter, I'll show you the steps. So anyone who got a printer connected to your computer, can you raise your hand if anyone having printer connected to your machine? No one. How about printer got mad? Nadul? Lakshaya? No. Lalita? Yes, Lakshaya? No, no, sir, not right. I have a printer, but uh, it's not connected to this computer. Okay. Uh, is it connected to some like network computer or this same network in your home network? No, sir. No. Okay. Doesn't matter, right? Let, let's see. Let's see how if it is like shared, how like virtually we can do it. Okay. Uh, let's go to the control panel. All of you can do that. Please go to the control panel. First, first step is that. Go to the control panel. After that, you can access printers and faxes or the printers. To do that, you need to just change the settings to small icons. Then can you see printers? Uh, is it there? Yes, devices and printers. Yes, devices and printers. Please click on that. Yes, you can see some printers. These are all virtual. These are not real. These are all virtual printers. Let's add a new printer. That is also going to be a virtual printer, but let's add a new one, add the printer. So let's do this practical again in one another computer. And you can say the printer that wasn't in the list, list. it's not listed, it's not in the list. Then you will be given how, how to discover the printer. So one thing is the printer uh, like uh, is little order, help me share it. That is one thing that you can do. Or you can uh, try to find a shared printer, already shared printer. That is the second here. So by typing this double backslash, it indicate a shared location. So you can find already shared printer. And or you can just uh, type the IP address of a printer. So some printers are having IP address, but some are not. So you can give that as well. So that is another way of finding the printer. Or oh. uh. Yes, add Bluetooth wireless printer. That is another part. Bluetooth or wireless printer. Add Bluetooth or wireless printer. Then local printer or network printer with manual settings. That is another one. Uh, local printer or network printer with manual settings. That is another thing that you can try. Add local printer or network printer with manual settings. Let's, let's go to the last one. Local printer. Let's add a local printer. You can, yes, you can say existing port. 
existing port. Then here you have different printers, generic printer. Let's go to the generic, generic category. Generic category. Category generic. Can you see the generic category? There you can select uh, here. MS publisher color printer, let's select that. So that is not a real printer, that is something. Okay. Then click next. So it is asking the printer name, okay, keep it and press next. And then you ask like whether you need to share the printer, right? Do not share printer and share print of this location. Okay, you can go to the share print. Location and the comment you can give. Maybe location, just say uh, um, personal or oh, my desk, my desk, something like you can type any location. Right, then uh, click next. Click next and finish. That's all. That will share the printer. And one share, you can see the share icon in the printer. Sometimes two faces for this share icon. So let's do this exercise in some other computer. Let's do the exercise in some other computer. Can you share? Can you share? Anyone else? Situ me? Situ me? Can you share the screen? I'll tell you how to do. Don't worry, then mama kiela then the mama share can the gyan put it. Situ me, can you share? Oh Ashen. Nadun. Ah, no one is willing to share. Okay, Ashen. Thank you. Right, Ashen, please go do again your control panel. I'm going to help you put it. Like, so this is a privilege, right? When I mention your name, don't be afraid. Don't, don't think that oh, you, I, I need to hide. Don't be like that. You are trying to do that. No, that is kind of negative feedback. That is not a very good feedback to give uh, to your teacher. That is, we call that as a negative feedback. So when you are giving, if you feel to give that feedback means in life, in your life also, you are going to go to the negative direction. So because like participating, or if even though you can know whether you can do it or not, doesn't matter, but start with a positive thought. Let's try. Let's try, right? Let's try. At least if you, if you are not confident, if you think this is like, will be difficult to me, let's try. That is not something bad. You are trying with your, Teachers' guidelines. So that is not something bad. Okay, anyway, let's help uh, our friend, Ashen. What do you need to do? You need to go to... So one thing is you need to go to your printers, devices and printers. Yes, they are. I hope you can remember how we have shared a folder. But here we have to share a printer. Add a printer because these printers all are just... Uh, virtual printers, but anyway, those these printers can also be shared, but not directly. The printer wasn't it's in, uh, wa, uh, wa, uh, sorry uh, the printer that I want isn't listed. Select that. Okay, add a local printer. Next, uh, use existing port. Okay, next. Once you connect the actual printer, you can find it. Right? This way, then you can just say MS Publisher Color Print and uh, click Next and Finish. Next. And then it's, it's asking you to share the printer. Yes, keep as it is. Like you can give the location if you want, otherwise, you can skip that. Doesn't matter. Now, uh, let's move. Okay, how can we see the printer? Once it is shared, the printer should be in the network locations. Who else? Lakshya, are you ready to share? Oh, Nadun? Nadun? Netuka? 
Wow. Taruka, anyone? No, no one. Okay. okay, this is in Mac. So how can we share a printer in Mac? So that is a different environment. So first of all, you have to go to your printers that you can just go to here uh, in the settings. Please go to your settings. Right. Or you can go to system preferences, that is also okay. System preferences. So, how to go to system preferences on the printers, right? Okay. Settings of system preferences. Then you can see add printer, right? No printers are available. You have to add a new printer. Click on the plus button and try to add the new printer. I'm not sure whether if it is not connected, sometimes Mac will not allow you to add. Uh, yes, you can add a network printer. The other one is. Third one. So what is the third, 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 third? So there are three. Yeah, click on that. What is there? Mm. Windows printers. Huh? The second one is network printer. Click on the network printer. Virtual printers, I think it's uh, difficult to add in Mac. Click on that. IP printers, no. Uh, the first one. Just uh, first one, click on that, yes. Just click on that, yeah. Uh, you have to search, na name of the printer, uh, can you type it? Only the connected printers are visible, right? Mm, only the connected printers are visible, that is the problem. Uh, close it, close that window. But anyway, yes, close it then. Yeah, one, if you have added one printer, it will be displayed here. But since you have not added that printers are not listing here, that is the problem. But if you have already added, it will be displayed to you. Under the system preferences, you can just go to the printers. First of all, it's like this, right? Let me share this to you. I think, uh, can you see my screen? This is how you are reading the MacBook. First of all, what you have to go to uh, the system preferences in Apple menu, system preferences. There, uh, you need to search, need to close this Apple menu, system preferences. Just search uh, printer sharing. Here, yeah, printer sharing. Or you can go to the sharing button, sharing, just go to the sharing. There you have to tick printer sharing. Then once like those printers that you have already connected will be here. You have to click on the printer that you have already connected. Then here you can select what others can do with that printer. That is simple, right? Turn on the printer sharing by taking this. Select the printers that you wish to share and also give the permissions. Click and give the permissions. That is how you can share the thing in Apple. It's very easy. Right, let's see that how to view this print shared printer. Ashen or Tihan, who have already shared, can share the screen again. It's already shared, can share the screen again. Okay. So now go to Explorer, File Explorer. Go to the file explorer. Now ooh, go to the view, view, and enable this uh, view menu, view tab. Enable the side pane. I need that. Here uh, you can say navigation pane. Click on that and the detail pane. Here expand to open the folder. Oh, it's not sure. So can you click the preview pane? Uh, not, not that one, no, the navigation preview. Just click on the navigation pane again. Navigation pane again. 
Oh. not that version you have to just show the preview so can you go back uh, i think uh, uh, so yeah, what is missing here mm. file explorer go to the navigation pane yes click on the navigation pane something wrong here show the library show all folders tick on all these things still you cannot see the navigation pane Navigation pane, you have to tick that. Tick that. Ah, I then on my pane. Now only you can see that. So you are not picking the navigation pane. That is the reason. Okay, now you can see the sidebar. Here, please go to the networks. Please go to the networks. The last one. Here, you can see the latter part. Network. Network, Kashin. Right. Okay, you can see it is showing the network computers. Showing the network computers. Right, you can see only one computer since uh, still you don't have any joint computers. But so when there is actual network, you can see all the computers in that network. You can just double click on that computer to go inside. Then you can see whatever shared here. This MS Publisher color paint is shared with you that you can see. There is one thing that MS Publisher color paint is shared to you that you can see. Okay, so similarly, if there are some other computers, you can see the printers, whatever the shared things in there. So let's try to share a folder also. So, how to share a folder? So, just go to your desktop or somewhere that you wish to share. Go to your desktop. Right click on the folder, you just share this Ashen folder, right click on the folder, go to the properties and then sharing, sharing, share. Then, so from here, drop down and se select everyone, select everyone, add, Okay, give all the permissions. If you want to give all the permissions, you can give all, read and write. Click share. That's it. See how easy that is. Then you can see a shared path. Okay, you can see this is the shared path. Okay, done. Now go to your network and see. <coughs> go to your network and see. You can see this. When you double click, you can see. Uh, the users folders which is shared and this one also right inside that you can see this uh, uh, the other folders because why you can see this since you have shared that location okay once network uh, is shared you can do something you can even uh, create a network drive right how to create a network drive let's see so let's, uh, this is some important point. Okay, you have already shared uh, location. So let's go to the network, let's go to the control panel again, Ashin. These things are technical. Only by doing you will understand this. Only by doing you will understand. Either you have to watch the video, or you have to do this again and again, then only you will understand. Then go to the uh, sharing. Uh, where, 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 where's the sharing? Uh, not that. Okay, let's go to the network and share in. There, let's access change advanced sharing settings. Change advanced sharing settings. You have to tick on on here and check whether it is on for general public as well. You have to turn on this and on this too. Okay, then. Again, check for all networks. Check for all networks. 
Yes, it is given. Right now, it is time to uh, create a shared drive. Now, it is time to create a shared drive. Go to your folder, the ASEAN folder that you have already shared. Please go to that folder. Click on the properties. Okay. Now, can you see the shared location? Mm, 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 mm. No, not the user folder. I didn't ask you to go to the user folder. I asked you to go to the ASEAN folder, which you have already shared. Oh, here. No. I said the permission. Yes, go to the properties. Then you have to go to the sharing. Sharing. Okay, uh, then can you see the path? Can you copy this? Can you copy this? Right, after that, go to the command prompt. After that, please go to the command prompt. Right, you can type net, net command space, use space you can give a drive name let's give is a drive is a colon is that colon 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 mark this is not colon colon character in the keyboard space paste the location right space Okay, I think that is enough. Just press enter. Right, now go and see in your, this PC. Click on this PC. Right, can you see there's something called is a drive? Ah, that is the network location. That is your ASEAN folder. You can just double click and then access your folder there. That is the same folder that is there in your desktop. Actually, we have mounted it into a drive, a network share. We have added that to a drive now like c drive d drive now we have z drive z drive is a network drive actually now if you have shared this with other computers in your network they can also see the z drive in their computers actually z drive is actually they are in your computer but others can also see this z drive okay right who wish to get that experience I can teach from beginning. I'm really okay. Only thing is your dedication and your commitment and also your voluntarily appearance is needed. Who wish to get that experience? Situmi, do you like? I'm giving chances. I'm giving lotteries. So it is up to you. I'm giving the opportunities, but some of you are not picking up the opportunities. So what can I do? I have given the opportunity to Situmi, she is not picking up. Don't be afraid, I can teach you from beginning. Can you tell me the reason why you cannot share? At least be punctual. Can you tell me the reason why you can't share actually? So what's the issue? So are you not using a computer? So are you joining with your mobile phone? So what's the issue? How many of you are joining with your mobile phones? Can you raise your hand? Those who are joining with your mobile phones, can you raise your hands? If you see to me is joining using mobile phone. Anyone else joining with your mobile phone? Others are not joining with your mobile phones, but not taking the chances. Luck, uh, sorry, uh, let's, uh, let's give a chance to Netuka. 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 Okay, let's create a folder first. Netuka. In your desktop or somewhere, you can create a folder.
create a folder. Okay, so you can uh, rename with your name, that is to make it easier. You can give any name, but here you can just rename with your name. Right click and go to the properties and share it. Share it. When you are sharing, please add everyone. Yes everyone add and put all the permission we need right and share it copy the shared path you'll get a path just turn on network discovery and file sharing yes you need to turn on that yes copy the path copy the file here network path copy the network path That is your network path, okay? Network paths are beginning with these double slashes. Click close. Okay, now uh, you can go to the control panel and check the settings whether the sharing settings are set properly. Go to the control panel. They are. Click on network and sharing center and check whether these sharing settings are set properly. Change advanced sharing settings. Yes, that is already set. Private networks, is it set for the private network and all networks? Check. Yes, done. Uh, here, turn on file length enter share in second one. Then the other networks, all networks. Okay, turn on password protect. Okay, click the save changes. Now we are done. Okay, then uh, close this. Go to the command prompt. Your sharing settings are now done. Go to the command prompt. Or you can say type CMD. Easier way is type CMD. Yes. Then type net space. space, use space, any drive letter that you like, let's type uh, G, G colon, colon, this is quotation, colon mark, this is backslash, this is pipe mark, comma, dot, so what's wrong? Why the characters? It's, it's just uh, closer to letter L. Just after letter L. Space, then paste the path. <coughs> Enter. Go to this PC. Oh, what is that? What is the missing parameter? Ah. Net space use again. Put the uh, net space use. You have to put that inside the quotation. Net. Type this command again. Give me the permission. I'll type that. Because there is a space in your path. Here, can you see there's a space? My space PC. Therefore, you need to code this. Okay, now you can see command completed success. The quotation is needed since there is a space. Met the space on AKI quotation. Now double click on this PC and you can see your network drive. 
So here you can see if your network drive is here, that is drive OG, that is your network drive. Okay, now you know how to share a folder, how to share a content, how to share a printer. So that is what this lesson is about. So let's move to the next part of your book. Uh, yes, uh, command line. So how many of you are using this uh, Pro version, Windows 10 Pro version? Can anybody share? If you are using Windows 10 Pro version, you can share this. This MSG will work in Windows 10 Pro version. Can anybody share? Sir, I have Windows 11. Oh. oh. But let's give a try. I'm not sure in Windows 11 will it work, but let's give a try. MSG command. Go to the command prompt and type MSG. MSG. Sir, run as administrator. Or... No, no, you just run at MSG just to see whether the command is there. MSG message, MSG. Press enter. Ah, yes, the command is there. This command is there in only pro versions. That is the one, that is the thing that I need to mention. Then how to send messages using MSG command. Basically, if you want to send this message to somebody like some account, you can type the account name, MSG account name, then the message, right? Type MSG. So what is your account name? Tihan, no, is it like, uh, yes, Tihan Fernando, you can just quote it and say, inside the quotation space, Tihan Fernando. Then space, let's say hello world, some message within quotation. Then type enter. Tihan Fernando does not exist. Now that user is not there, that is the reason. I think your username is something different. You can type net space user, net space user. Enter. Okay, you can see these are the accounts. Your one is, I think, Tihan only, it seems. These commands are needed, right, if you want to know. Okay, you can see, hello world message will be prompted. Yes, that is fine. So if you type, use a network username there, the network username, like if there is a network, multiple computers are connected to this, then the particular user will get that message. Multiple users like connect la hit yana network username ke kahuwa na ya agi stream ke hoy message ke pen. Okay, another way is to display everyone. You can type uh, msg space asterisk asterisk. Then you can display the message within quotation. You can say any message that you wish that will be displaying the message. But this will work in pro versions only. Other versions you will get an error. Internet run this. Okay. Then with that, the particular practical part is done. Just go through that. That is about this practical. This is working only in the pro versions. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I can't see uh, my computer network in my network tab in File Explorer. Can you share? Why uh, this is the ah the other devices are there? I think you have to turn on the network discovery by going to the control panel. Is it turned on for all networks for private networks? Okay, uh, for general public. Okay, close it. Now go to the Explorer Windows key and E key. Windows key and E key to go to the Explorer. Then go to the network. Right click, right click there. View, view. Um, collapse all groups. Can only see the other devices, right? View, okay. Your computer is not showing. Maybe you have not shared something, right? Have you shared folders, anything? Uh, uh, we shared a printer. Uh, so can you share a folder and also? 
the fold and see whether it's appearing or not. If not, I'll tell you another way of getting that. You can just type the right, whatever the path that you have copied, the double slash path that you can type in the run, run dialog box, then that will appear. And after that, you can just map it to Z drive something, then you can get it. Follow the instructions that I have done. So let's try to finish the book now for the moment. You can follow the instruction list, right? Okay. Here in the uh, first exercises, exercise in grade uh, like chapter number six, it's asking the machines. So let's try to find or the discover the machines. The first one is you can see is scanning machine, scanning machine. And the second one is basically, this is for blood pressure monitoring. This is for blood sugar. ECG, ECG is EEG, ECG. These yes. are taken in your heart. Yes, this is ECG. Then EMR, that EEG, brain scan, this is this. And then this is CAT scan. Computer aided tomography of CAT, CAT scan. Right, these are the, you can take a snapshot. Move it to the next. So this, this we discussed last day. Uh, what are the steps taken to minimize the digital divide in a society? So what is digital divide and how can we minimize that? Can you tell? What is digital divide and how can we minimize that? At least you can answer, right? So you are really reluctant to share your screens. You don't like to share the screens, but I don't know how can we proceed like this. We can't do this forever. So then if you are if you're having that bad practice now, then you will not listen to the instruction in future. So especially when you are in all levels without sharing the screen, we can't do the classes. Because that is about some more you need to practice it. Without doing the practicals, how can we can that is really difficult. So I, I, I really need something effective, right? I don't like just to throw uh, things like pros, pawns to moon because that is useless. I can never touch it. So if I am throwing stones, if I'm trying, trying hard, trying hard, throw stones to moon against moon, so then that is useless effort. So similar to that, if I'm trying to teach you these practicals by demonstrating, that is a useless effort because you are not practicing. Without practicing, how can you know about this? Okay, tell me this digital divide in the society. So what is digital divide and how can we fix that? We discussed this last day. Okay, Lakshya, I need your answer on this. What is digital divide and how can we fix this? I'm waiting. Okay, I think we have a digital divide. We are experiencing digital divide. The society with the knowledge of digital devices the society with the knowledge of the devices are in one group and those who are not having enough knowledge in another group. So that is called digital divide. That can be knowledge-based division or that can be a technology-based. Some people who are having the technology, people who are not having the technology, people who can access the technology, people who cannot access the technology, people who know the technology, people who don't know the technology, people who are poor to use the technology, people who are uh, right, rich enough to use the technology. Likewise, the society is divided into two groups. By making them aware, by making the others aware, we can fix this. By making the society aware about computers and the technology, we can fix this digital divide up to some extent. And the other thing is providing facilities. We have to provide facilities 
right? We have to provide facilities to both uh, both groups, not just the poor and uh, the people who are not accessing. The other group will also fall into the second category if they are also not given facilities. Therefore, it's need to provide the facilities and also need to educate. Right. 6.3. So they are asking a set of uh, e waste collecting companies. The companies or the organization are collecting e waste. These are listed in the government website. You can just go and check this. This list you can find in the government website uh, electronic wastage collecting companies or recycling companies. You can get a list of that. These are the licensed collectors of electronic wastage management Sri Lanka. Just have a snapshot of this. This is the list. And I'll share, anyway, share you the PDF. So it is listed in the government website. In, in your examination, if they ask, you have to write few companies from this list, but don't just copy and paste, right? You need to know. Ceylon Waste Management, Clean Tech, Ecobis, Ecogate, Lanka Engineering. So these are the companies. And you can see what kind of e waste stages they are managing CFL bulbs, fluorescent bulbs, monitors, etc. They are managing them. Right. So just take a snapshot of that, or you can just refer to the PDF that I have sent about the particular thing. These are the e waste stage managing companies. In, licensed companies in Sri Lanka. Most of them are handling the CFL bulbs, etc. Monitors. Okay. So list out EV stage that can be reused. What, what are the things that you can reuse? Yes, can you list a few? I got good answers from single and medium class. I'm not getting very good answers from you means you are not doing your studies. Tell me ways of using e-waste stage. How can we use them? So what are the things that can be reused? Example, wires can be reused. What else? Yes, wires can be reused and e -boards. ports, yes, ports can be reused. Yes, ports can be connected, reused. Cables can, cables or the ports can be reused. Correct. LED bulbs, magnets in these devices can be reused. LED bulbs in these devices can be reused. Sensors in these devices can be reused. Motors in these devices can be reused. There are many. Right? Motors in these devices, LED bulbs, sensors in these devices, wires in these devices, casings can be reused. Plastic in these devices can be reused. Connectors in these devices can be reused. Ports in these devices can be reused. Connectors, ports in these devices can be reused. And even um, keys, like so, there are some other materials. Right? For decorative purpose, we can reuse them. So please write down that. These are the things. So have you seen these kind of decorations created using this uh, mm, eBay stage? This keyboard. Mm, voila. So the keys can be used to create wall arts like this, nice wall arts. Here, yeah. these are using keys in your keyboard. This wall art, uh, this is actually a musical keyboard. This, these are some wall arts that you can create. Yeah. And this is a wall art. 
This is a wall art. It is a map. It's a map. It's a wall art. Here, this map is a keyboard wall art. Yes, using keyboard, this map is created. And uh, some skeletons. Skeletons can be created using wall arts. Mm, keyboard keys, I have seen some skeleton like. So here it's not there. So I, I'll show you keyboard keys. Okay, these are some other ways. You can see heart. That is easy. All that. And this horse is just created using keys in the keyboard. Amazing one. You can see. So these are some. Here yeah, the keyboards are there. It's reused. This is keyboards reused. A Trojan horse using keyboard. This is a head of skull using keyboard. A bomb like thing using keyboard. A keyboard. Just see, these are really artistic. These artistic creations can be created using keyboards. You can write down there. Okay, can we can you tell me whether this is false or true? All e-waste cannot be reused. All e-wastes cannot be reused. False. All e-waste cannot be reused. No, it's it's can be used, right? Can be reused. Maybe this can this this question this uh, text is a bit ambiguous. All kind of e waste stages cannot be reused. That is true. All the kind of e waste stages, right? Not every. But the thing is here, the statement is like a bit amb ambiguous, kind of. All e waste stage cannot be reused. Maybe you can say some e waste stage cannot be reused. That is true. But all e waste stage, let's put this. E-wastage uh, pollutes our environment. That is, E-wastage uh, pollutes our environment. That is, E-wastage pollutes our environment. Okay, that is not neither true or false, right? No answer is there. E ways, uh, we are not uh, responsible for the damage caused by environment for uh, from e, e ways. We are not responsible for the damage caused by the environment from e ways. Yes. Yes or no? Okay, still no. Yes. Answer. We are not responsible then. EV stage is responsible, is it? No. We are not responsible. We have to take the responsibility, right? that is wrong. EV stage pollutes our environment, that is true. I can skip this way, that will dam definitely damage you. So, but try to be make this interactive, otherwise, shall I just wind up? Is it, is it enough? The other things you can do alone, right? Because you are not responding, so how can I can? This is wrong. E wastage pollutes our environment. We are not responsible for the damage caused by environment from e waste. So, then uh, to uh, keep surrounding clean, e wastage can be taken dumped into garbage collecting centers. So, no. No, no, we can't just put, we have to give it to the e-waste state collecting center, not to every garbage collecting center. We can't, we can't just throw it away. E-waste, uh, true, e-waste e can be used for create, uh, yes, on a mask. Okay, next two articles, I'll keep it to you because like uh, it's very less interactive. 
I think some are sleeping. It's okay. Then uh, sweet dreams and good night. So it seems like some of you guys are sleeping. 6.6 .6 and 6.7, these are the last two activities. Please do that as a homework. That is about reading newspapers, collecting this. Maybe you can do that in your dreams. Some are dreaming, right? Okay, then. Good night. Good night, sir. Thank you.